We also have the U.S. Open Golf Championship in New York going on right now. But what people fail to realize, or at least some people do, is we have the PGA Tour in Las Vegas two weeks in a row. And it's coming up next month, starting with the Shriners Hospital for Children's Open. And last year was one of the best fields they had had in years. And the guy joining us right now on the line, always appreciate it when he takes the time to join us. He's the tournament director for the Shriners Hospital for Children's Open, which is October 5th through the 11th. That would be Patrick Lindsay who joins us right now on the line. Patrick, thanks for joining us. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Doing, doing great, awesome. Patrick. So I got a lot to catch up with you on here. Let me start with this. How big of a help is it for you? The fact that we have this CJ Cup, which is this tournament that's normally played uh, overseas, playing at it's going to be played in Las Vegas the week after your tournament. Can you explain how that could help you in your field? Well, I think it. I think it actually is going to help a lot. You know, we were, um, you know, kind of looking on both sides of the equation when um, when we started talking about you know CJ uh, coming into Las Vegas and and playing two weeks in a row uh, here here in Las Vegas and. You know, we we got pretty excited about it from from the beginning. Um, you know, to have uh, to have two events in a row right here. Us, you know, kind of hosting the players here in Las Vegas and in our in our great city and bringing uh, hopefully some additional eyes and some more players into the city um, was kind of a no brainer for us. But we started thinking about you know how both of our fields can um, be positively impacted for having both events. And I think uh, both both groups should have a really good field this year. So, so we're, we're excited to have him here. So when you hear of a guy like a Justin Thomas, uh, I believe he's never played here in Las Vegas, but he won the CJ Cup last year. Is it a fair assumption to make that he will most likely play in the Shriners as well, or is a guy like that you're not sure yet? Well, well, we're we're not sure yet, but we are hopeful that he makes that same assumption that that we are. I mean, we are kind of reaching out to all of those guys that, um, and and Justin is a, a perfect example. He is the defending champion of CJ. Basically, he goes actually goes over to Asia and wins all of those events every right, year. Right, right. Like, yes, and he's winning the U.S. Exactly. Open right now too. By the way, he is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, tied with uh, Mr. Reed. Both of those, both right. of those guys, we want bought, want in our field. Sure, um, but no, you know, I think it it makes all the sense in the world, to, and it makes it a little bit easier to approach these agencies uh, about their players. About hey, why don't you guys just come in for mm-hmm. for two weeks and uh, make make some money two weeks in a row? Sure, so it makes made sense. It a little bit easier <laughs> in, the, in yep. the conversation, but we we yep. really hope uh, Justin Justin plays. Um, and that's, you know, that's one of the things that we talked about when we were talking about CJ coming into town is, you know, let's just say Justin doesn't play our event and would be disappointed in that. However, you know, maybe it just kind of sparks, you know, that Las Vegas is a great place to play professional golf. And, Absolutely. You know, long, long term looking down the road, maybe he adds Las Vegas to his schedule and he mm-hmm. plays us. I hope so. So, so we're talking to Patrick Lindsay, he's the tournament director for the Shriners Hospital for Children's Open, October 5th, the 11th. Uh, so, Patrick, I know that we're a ways away, and the field isn't even close to being set yet. But are there any announcements you can make on this show now? Any big names? I would imagine Bryson DeChambeau, who won last year, will be uh, returning, which is which is great. But uh, any other big names that you can share with us right now, where you can say 100% they've committed to play in this tournament? Yeah, and uh, uh, we're actually like three weeks away, so it's yeah. uh, definitely coming up uh, sooner than uh, sooner than we all you know, kind of think, I, I still kind of feel like it's April to be honest. Um, but no, the events right around the corner. Uh, I think we're going to have a lot more guys commit after the U S open. Um, and you know, if one of these guys wins how it might change their schedule. So I think we're waiting for the U S open to, to be over this weekend and we'll get some more commitments, but you know, as of right now, you know, it is shaping up really nice You're, You are correct. And, you know, Bryson DeChambeau, um, and Kevin Na are two most recent champions, and then Patrick Cantley as well. They're in our field as our last three past champions, and it, they they actually just give us such a good pay, base right off right off the bat mm-hmm. uh, to have those guys in the field, and then you kind of throw in our locals with Scott and Ryan Moore, but also you know emerging star. Actually, he's not even emerging anyway anymore. I think he's just a full blown star now. Colin Morikawa after winning the PGA Championship. Uh, being a local here in Las Vegas, um, you know we're excited to have him in our field. Oh, that's great. But Tony Finau. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's big. Yeah. Always, always comes and plays. Uh, Paul Casey is coming this year for the first time in a while. Wow, that's a big Sergio name. Sergio Garcia and Hideki Ooh. Matsuyama. Wow, are great names for us. That's a right great. Now. And, those are big names right there. Yeah. Yeah, and, there, and there's more that we expect to play that yep. just 
you know, like a Matt Kuchar, for instance, or a Ricky Fowler. We expect those guys to play. Wow. Um, but we just haven't gotten the official commitment yet. I mean, that, that is that, awesome. That's a star-studded field already, in my yeah, opinion. that's great. So now with, with, with the CJ being, I believe it's the next week, is that correct, yep. Brian? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are, are you working with the, the director or the organizer of the CJ as well and kind of, and mm-hmm. kind of booking things collectively? So one, so say, say, for example, you reach out to Tiger Woods, you say, hey, Tiger, we want you to play uh, the, the Shriners Open and the CJ Cup. Is that kind of taking place? Some of that is definitely taking place. I mean, when we when we talked to the tour about this scenario, we you know we talked a lot about players and how it'd be since we're not traveling, right? I'm like going to other tournaments right now. It's really important for their player relations team um, as they are uh, still traveling um, to be on the driving range and talking about both events and how it's important for all of us that all of these guys play both events. Um, so they've been helping out uh, with that, but I'm, I am in constant contact with uh, that tournament team, Championship Management, which is owned and operated by the PGA Tour. They're the ones operating that second mm-hmm. uh, that second tournament, uh, and we uh, have been sharing a lot of ideas. We're trying to share vendors. We're trying to where where it makes sense. You know, if we can share a vendor and it help out on some costs for both events, we're looking at that as well. So, but. Um, and definitely on the volunteer front, we're uh, we're trying to help them um, and send out some blasts to our volunteers so that you know they have enough volunteers to run their event. So we're definitely yep. working pretty close. So Patrick, let's talk a little bit about something that's not a fun topic, but that is the pandemic and the fact that fans are not allowed to watch uh, you know the PGA Tour right now. Uh, I'm making an assumption. I know that the CJ Cup is not allowing fans there. Uh, is there is it a definite that fans will not be allowed to be at the Shriners for Children's Open in October? Yes, it, it is, unfortunately. And we kind of made that decision a couple of weeks ago. We announced it on, on social earlier this week as well. You know, it just it just came down to, you know, just wanting to make sure that this event can, can go off um, without a hitch and that we can use the broadcast to really focus on, you know, the mission of Shriners Hospitals for Children and talking sure. about, you know, our patients and the services that, that we provide. And we didn't want any other thing that could possibly happen to take away from that so we made that they made that decision and putting the right policies and procedures in place now to make sure that everyone that comes on site from a player volunteer and staff perspective is as safe as possible as as a tournament director and you've been around the pga tour for such a long time how weird is this era not just on in golf but in just in general like i'm watching patrick i'm watching the u.s open i I love watching majors and i love watching golf and playing it how weird is it for you uh, and for everybody just to be able to watch a major like this and, and and a star you know star studded field and and you know the best golfers in the world on the biggest platform, and there's no fans there. I mean, to me, it's just weird, right? It seems like maybe it helps certain players and it hurts others. But I mean, how weird is this era that we're in right now, where we don't watch fans? Fans are not there watching the best players in the world play golf. It's shocking. I mean, it's it's very it's very odd uh, to watch any of these. Any of these events, like watching NBA basketball, to me is, is has been the weirdest. Um, uh, but yeah, watching watching golf, you know, I miss the fans around the greens and around the tee box, and um, you know, running out of the way as there's a wayward shot. You know, I miss right. I miss all of that. Yeah, right. So right. <laughs> as I'm watching Justin Thomas, you know, uh, his approach shot here, uh, and there's nobody really behind the greens. It's just it's it's bizarre here. We're just ready. Ready to use this year is just a bridge to yeah. try to get to 2021. Well, I'll tell you what. You, you've done a fantastic job, Patrick. You and your team, as, as I say every year, uh, in making this tournament uh, that much better, just from the field, from a standpoint of just star-studded field. Uh, I have to ask you about Phil Mickelson because Phil did mm-hmm. play in this event last year, uh, and, and I know Phil did not have a very good U.S. Open. I, I don't mean to laugh about it, but I think he shot a 79 yesterday. Any word from Phil yeah, Mickelson? He shot nine over, yeah. yeah he, he struggled yesterday, but listen. <laughs> And it was a big deal that Phil played in this tournament last year, and he made the cut. Uh, any word from Phil that he might return? Yeah, I mean, last time last time we spoke, and I, I probably need to connect with him again. Uh, but last, last time we spoke to that to that team, it was definitely looking promising that he was going to come back. So um, uh, we do expect him to be in you know in the field this year. That's great. And it's just one of those things, you know. We talk about the field and how great it how great it is, uh, and this makes it that much more sad that we're not going to have fans on right, site exactly. and show our fans that 
you know, that, uh, that experience with our professionals and the product that we put out there and the additional Shriner messaging that we would have had out, out on the golf course and with our patients as well. So that part's really sad, but the, the, really the only thing that we can do is make sure that we still take care of our players and that they are still enjoying their experience in Las Vegas, however that is, so that they come back next year. You know, one of the, I think just a golfer that is going to win a major very soon is Xander Shoffley, and I think that he would have a very good chance of winning the, the Shriners Open as well. Has, has he mm-hmm. played it before, and are you looking at him possibly coming yeah, coming in this year? Yeah, I would love to sit here and say he's coming, I, and I don't know. I don't have uh, one way or another on, on Xander, but we would love we would love for him to come. I think he's been, I think he's played our event one year, maybe his mm-hmm. first year yep. on tour, and haven't seen him back yet so uh we but we would love to have him i mean he's he might be eighth in the world i mean he's definitely a top uh top to number uh, sorry number seven in the world so um he would be a, a great player having our field no question well patrick uh maybe we'll catch up with you again maybe uh, i know you'll be very busy the next couple of weeks catch up with you maybe if the week before but uh it's coming up the shriners hospital for children's open patrick Lindsay is the tournament director it's october 5th through the 11th before i let you go patrick how can people get involved with shriners uh, donations how can people get involved to, to help the cause and what you the great things that you guys are doing yeah, the, really the number one thing for us this year, we, just, we want people to watch the broadcast. Uh, I mean, that, that's, that's what's really going to help us this year and get as many eyes on the broadcast as possible. So Thursday through Sunday, we're going to be live on the, uh, on the Golf Channel from 2 to 5 p.m. We're also going to be on PGA Tour live um, from about you know, 6.30 in the morning to 5 o'clock in the evening every day as well. So that's going to be an option for people. Um, donating, it will also be big this year. You can follow all of our, all of our social channels, whether it's the Shriners Hospitals channels or, uh, the Shriner Open channels on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And we'll have, uh, links just to donate. We'll also have links to a silent auction piece with a lot of great signed merchandise and some great experiences from around town that will go directly to Shriners Hospitals for Children to help us raise dollars. Uh, for this year. So a awesome. lot, of, lot of ways to still get involved, and we would love anyone to participate. Patrick, you guys are doing a fantastic job, as I say, every year. Keep up the great work, and uh, I guess as a member of the media, I guess I'll be able to cover the tournament, so I feel selfish, and I'll feel a little guilty about being able to watch it in person. <laughs> but uh, that, but uh, you know what? I shouldn't feel that bad because I, I, love, I love covering it every year. Patrick, keep up the great work, my friend. Look forward to seeing you out there at the tournament, and thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thanks a lot, Patrick. Uh, thank you, guys. Have a good yep. one. You too. He is, I tell you, the Shriners is so lucky to have Patrick as the new tur- – well, I shouldn't say new. He's been there for a while now, but he has done such a great job they were so smart in taking justin timberlake's name off of this thing and just getting down to work and business patrick you couldn't have asked for a better person to be uh having sergio garcia out there and tony finau and probably phil mickelson uh this tournament i'm gonna make a prediction because of the cj this will be the best field the Shriners tournament has had probably in 20 years. He said Matsuyama. Yeah, he Kuchar. played last year. Yeah, that's a great field. Already it's a great field. And it's and it's a yeah. lot of guys that, that kill the ball off the tee and some guys yeah. that are very accurate. Uh, so it's, it's a, it'll be a nice, it'll be a nice Bryson, blend of, of talent as well. Including Bryson DeChambeau, who hit a 390-yard <laughs> drive today at the U.S. Open. It's insane. 390? He hit it 390. He has, he has put on, what, 25 pounds of just pure muscle? Yeah, he's a big dude. He's a monster now. He averages 325 yeah. a drive. But, but it means a lot for the tournament when you have a big name like that win and you stamp your name on that. Hey, Kevin Na won last year, All due respect to Kevin Na. He's not Bryson DeChambeau. Yeah, okay? yeah. DeChambeau is one of the most well-known and talked about names in golf right now. To have that guy as a guy who won the tournament last year defending is a huge deal. Right. That even helps the tournament more. So you got the CJ Cup, which is going to bring big, big names to Las Vegas. Yes, I do think Justin Thomas is coming, one of the best players in the world, you ha- and he's winning the U.S. Open right now. Uh, having the CJ Cup here, having Bryson DeChambeau winning this tournament last year uh, is a huge help, and having Patrick Lindsay run this whole show. He's got a great relationship with these players and their people. All right.